Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light. And I'm up here with an intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. I speak all as well with each and every one of you all. Today is April the 15th, 2023. And I'm up here doing intuitive energy reading for April 16th, 2023. Mind you, this energy could have already showed up in your life. It could show up later on in the near future. Or it might not show up at all. It might not resonate at all. Remember, only take what resonates because a lot of the energy that I read be my energy. But I do pick up on a collective as well, right? Because this is a collective reading that I do that things that happen across the board, all right? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I keep getting these funk songs. First of all, we can't be friends coming. We can't be friends, all right? So I think this is some type of love energy, you know? And uh, what's this gonna be? Cause I can't pretend no. What's this gonna be? More than friends. Hold on tight and don't let go. Don't let go. Have the right to lose control. All right, so Invo, I think that's who's saying that. All right, that channel song was coming in. I guess as I was cleansing my cards and setting up, get ready to card, uh, um, record, that song came through. So somebody want to know what it's going to be. All right. They ain't got time to be keep pretending. Like, are y'all going to be more than friends or what? All right. Because they can't pretend. They can't keep playing these games. Huh? You're going to either stay together, get back together, choose them, or move on. We're going to get this right, we're going to move on. You're going to choose me, you're gonna, whatever, whatever the case. Somebody is, somebody is sick and tired of confused energies, all right? Um, and um, I put, we can't be friends. And somebody don't want to be friends. All right, somebody wants to be more than friends. Somebody is dating somebody or in a relationship with somebody or seeing somebody and they in the friend zone. Somebody is wanting to take it to the next level. But I'm getting that this other person really don't. I'm picking up on side cheek energy. That's the worst thing, baby. Let me tell you this from my, from my own experience. From the past. The young dumb keto. <clears throat> the side chick. The mistress. Mm -mm, baby, you need to know your worth. For one thing, first and foremost, if a person would cheat on whoever they with to mess around with your husband ass, they're gonna do the same thing with you. Ain't none of you out know no trophies. You rejects. No, yeah, you rejects to somebody else and you rebound to other people. And, and I'm just keeping 100. You might not like what I'm saying, but I'm keeping the 100. Come on, stop wanting other people, men and women out the here, okay? Listen, <clears throat> until the people out there that's messing around in people's heads and just messing around on your man or woman, the karma's about to get real. That side chick or that side nigga about to turn your whole world upside down. I'm getting some of you ain't living. Has deep people about to take some of you out because you're playing with their motherfucking heads and their minds and their emotions. If they ain't gonna take you out, the one you cheating on is going to do it. And it's sad that even got we, we 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 shouldn't even have to be like that, yo. For one thing, if you're not gonna be committed to somebody, just move on. Why do people gotta feel like they gotta have that cake and eat it too? Like. Who have that much energy anyway? Okay, it's saying my device is getting too hot. Probably because I got it on the charger. That's probably why it's dark like this. Let me see. I think I got enough juice anyway. See that? It's saying my device is getting too hot. Things about to get heated for you people out here playing. The, 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 listen, as I was saying that the device got too hot. Okay? The device got too hot. Things gonna get too hot for you, baby. If you can't stand the heat, you better get up out the kitchen. You, you out there, you ain't got enough energy 
to keep passing around like that, honey. Because these demons, these sex demons, and the entities ain't playing today. Oh, they're picking up any vessel they can that ain't being in divine alignment. And if you're out here cheating and mingling around and call yourself spiritual, all of a sudden, you know, because you wear crystals and meditate and you're a hum -a -lum, hum -hum -la, but you size chick, a side nigga, um, or messing around with somebody else, do the girl, you know, God, that's going to hit you worse cause, than anybody because you know, you really know about that life, you know. Some of you wearing, you know, you trend. It's trending, so you playing, you playing the trend game. Y'all don't even, y'all don't even take the the lifestyle, y'all life or that journey serious. You just own it for the attention. It's a fad. It's a trend. I mean, let's just keep it one hundred. It's what's popping, right? Some of you ain't been doing this for real, for real. I had my awakening for real back in twenty twelve. We like to say twenty ten. But it stepped up a notch 2012. And then in 2016, it took the freak off. But I've been going hard ever since. Multiple transformations. It's about to get dark for a lot of people out there who are here playing games with people. You got divine feminines out here and divine masculines out here that's worthy of somebody that's 100% real love, and we out here, or they out here, or whoever. Now, nah, I could say we, me, whatever. I don't even, you know, because I'm the collective. I don't know. We just came out my mouth. Settling for karmics. Well, we deserve so much better. Your divine unions are coming into place anyway. Hell, let's hook the karmics up so they can learn their lessons with each other. <laughs> I'm just saying. But no, um, for real, we don't, don't, don't you know, focus on you. But that is some energy going on with somebody don't want to be friends with somebody. Somebody want to take it to the next level, but somebody else don't want to take it to the next level because somebody is really just a side chick or the side dude. All right? And then I'm also getting that cougar energy. <clears throat> Y'all out here playing with these older men and older women, and these people are... um. Getting drained of their essence. And these people, these cougars are holding a lot of entities. They, they, they walk around a lot of sex demons. Because um, they happen to do a lot of un, unworthy things. Because they don't feel worthy. They have daddy and mama issues. They have um, parenting issues. They have childhood trauma issues. So they go on, it's a mental disorder. And they lost in the sauce. And so they have a lot of entities attached to them. And then they also not only would not mess and well, share their energy with one person, they're sleeping with multiple people because just to feel wanted and needed, right? And these people want to be more than friends with these people that only dating them for their money nine times out of ten. Because, you know, that's what gigolos and sugar daddies and, 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 and cougars for. They, they, um, they has been, they rejects, let's just keep it 100, that pay people for their time. And a lot of these cougars are doing spell works on people. Okay, I got monitoring birds. Look, look, y'all, crows been monitoring y'all. I kid y'all not. These crows, and one of them had a half-ass fly out there. They've been, <laughs> they been monitoring, like, even when I was setting up my camera and stuff, it was one just sitting on the roof over there. Cause I got a big window that I'm looking out of. I would show y'all real quick, but then I had to go through all. Oh, it's two of them. It's usually three, but it's down to two. So one, one of them setting the fuck down. One of those three. They ain't around. It's two of them flying, and out of those two, one of them hurt real bad. 
Oh, there go that third motherfucker. I'm speaking too soon. There it go. So it's three of them. It usually be two together and one to be off and this and that end up meeting up. It be a whole storyline going on with these crows out here. But they monitoring, and they watching me. They keep flying by this wonder and they dipping low. So they keep flying over here and dipping low. They was even sitting on the roof looking at me. Yeah, croak bitches, I'm still at it. You ain't taking me out. <laughs> Your magic ain't taking me out. But anyway, back to that. These um these these people that y'all messing around with that y'all don't want to take serious, even if they um even if y'all just not even have people that you cheating on somebody with, y'all playing games with people like these people that um want to be serious with y'all and y'all only using them for their money or, or just a place to lay up or whatever their car they're just, just using them basically those type of people and these side chicks have been doing massive spell work on people love spells and stuff doing spell work on your, your, your yin yangs and your, your thang thangs and Making you not want nothing but them and stuff. That shit finna backfire. That's why I say some people finna end up hurting people real bad out here. Because these people want to be more than friends with you all. <laughs> and y'all out here playing games. Because everybody out here playing these games and doing all this fuck girl, fuck boy shit is really unhealed. And it's hard lessons that's have to be learned so you can know your worth and get in alignment. Or, or just be dealt with. Handle, handle with accordingly is what Spirit is saying. It's getting real out here. And it's time for balance and alignment. If you're single, okay, you're singling, you're mingled, but do it in um authentically, I'm getting through it. Be wholesome. Know your worth. Respect your value of your body, your energy. Do not be sharing your energy with people. I'm not just talking about sexually. I'm talking about just period conversations. If they ain't got dang evolving or moving or doing something with their life, I'm talking about not just materially, but energetically. Their consciousness, their mind, body, soul, and spirit. And you are keeping moving. We got to start testing motherfuckers. I mean, <laughs> sad to say, but it's true. Because when anybody got time to be playing with their lives in these times, it's crunch time, baby. And we, you know, we have all the time. I'm just saying it's, it's time to start taking your life seriously because the energy is going to make you be held accountable whether you like it or not. So instant karma is about to be really real. So be true to you so you don't have to worry about that get, 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 get back. I said get, get. See, somebody got to, somebody about to get a get out. I'm serious. These people out here, man. <clears throat> Stop playing with people, yo. Y'all gonna be learning some hard lessons. This energy coming in really strong. All the spirit want me to talk about them. Sound like I hear a couple or something like that. Oh, I'm gonna bicker right now. I'm using my nose like that. My window. That's just confirmation. Hmm. Mm. This credit union is um standing out to me on this bit bag, and it's like <clears throat> give credit what credit is due. Those are the people that you're supposed to be in union with. Hmm. They ain't got to have, I'm not talking about no FICA score or none of that shit. Yeah, okay, we working on that, right? <laughs> Some people got good credit scores and they can be fucked up within. You see what I'm saying? It ain't about the material. What is their soul and their mind, body, and soul? What are they crediting for their self, for their whole well-being, right? For their mental health, for their emotional health, for their physical health. What are they holding a credit well, can you check off the credit boxes for that? Those are the people you want to come in union with, whether it's friends, lovers, 
um, partners, as far as business, whatever. You want loyal, legit people that's taking their life serious because they're taking their selves serious, which is their lives. Those are the type of people that you want to put your energy, a match energy with. Not giving them. Nobody's giving energy away. We're not giving no more. We're matching. So nobody won't be drained, pulled, or exalted. Everybody will pull accordingly and hold up their end of the bargain accordingly because you're putting your energy into your self-worth and holding yourself accountable and bringing that in accordance and balance with somebody else's or others. So that's that credit check. Those are the people you want to be in union with. And some of us working on things, nobody's perfect, okay? I have a lot that comes with me. <clears throat> Excuse me, confirmation verb. But I have a lot of credit, but I don't have no union. See what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about my FICO score. That guy here, y'all, I was so, so, oh, I had this so good, so over. So I had got my credit score up to like 720. 735 before we had got that spell work when we had went back to North Carolina had to go through all credit cards had to let all credit get hit I was doing good man. I had a rock y'all had a, 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 a nice diamond real diamond on my hand yeah $1,500 I know it might not sound sound like a lot to a lot of people but for somebody like me that was nice for the Put on a ring. That was my yeah. I had to end up giving that up to get back over here. I did anything to get the hell out of North Carolina. I don't know where the fuck we was at. You know what I'm saying? At that possessed ass place. <clears throat> Cause the spell work was done on us to get us there, and um, took a hit on our credit cause of lies and spell work. But you know you can always work on that. But that ain't the credit I'm talking about. That shit'll come. Some of you ain't even have to worry about credit in a minute. You're just going to have it. Your credit going to be good and you ain't going to have to use credit. You're going to be having trust and generational wealth. Like credit, yeah, it's going to be y'all going to learn how to use credit to your advantage. Right? Because that's the system a little bit if you're in that. But a lot of us ain't going to have to worry about credit. Like you're just going to have it. It's coming. Generational wealth, abundance, prosperity. For those, the righteous shall inherit the earth. The wealth of the wicked will become the righteous. It will. It will become the righteous. Because it was really formulated off our energy, our chi, our backs anyway. Everybody been ciphering the energy of those who are divine. Well, that time is up. It's time to get an alignment. Beautiful diamonds of light collective out there. And it's a process. It's a lifetime. Sometimes lifetimes. A lot of us have been doing this for lifetimes, you know. And I was saying earlier to my fiance, I was like, you know, we were talking about, you know, ciphering back here. I said, a lot of us, I say, you know how you feel like you don't belong here, but somehow you're here? It's because you had to come here to learn some lessons here because you was here, on, you was on the divine planet, right? But you seem somehow did something. Either you're here to help this planet, those who got lost, is you on a, you're on a divine plant, planet where balance is at, but it's still things that happen. People can still got free will, right? But majority of the people are choosing to be in divine alignment. So there's little small ones that want to get out of alignment. Mm. There's a penalty to place. And that's when you have to come here to earth school or whatever realm you have to go in. To make sure you have to go in to learn your lesson so you can go back home. Energetically, you, you originated from. That's why a lot of people feel like getting lost. You're not from here. Why am I here? I'm in a prison. Yes. Mm hmm Because you did some shit. <laughs> and you have to think right along. Some people, they come here and don't even learn. 
The thing is for you to forget so you cannot remember what you did so you can just choose free willingly to make the right decision. So when you do go home, they're like, yeah, they learned that lesson because they don't even remember what they did back here. So, you know what I'm saying? They chose to do right there. So, you know, they come home now. We know we can trust them. Not, oh, I know I did wrong, so I better do right or else. That's why we forget. Because they got to know that you're worthy of going back on that divine planet that's in balance. Or that divine reality around. Because anybody can get caught up, right? So that's just a that's just a, um channel, you know, or some type of intuitive insight I got earlier when I when I picked up on that earlier too. Just a perspective of mine. Or something I intuitively picked up on. But y'all don't know what I'm here for. <clears throat> yeah, that we can't be friends and stuff. And um all the other stuff, the invo. What's this gonna be? Cause I can't pretend no. Now right now. What's this gonna be? More than friends. Y'all better stop playing out though. Somebody is ready to take it to the next level though. That's serious in a in a, in a, in a relationship like been courting this shit. Somebody want to hold on tight and don't want to let go. They're ready to be more than friends with you. It's a muscle tool of things going on, beautiful dimes of life. But if you're a divine being, you know what time it is. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on. Spirit. I guess this one because it's crooked. <clears throat> the gateway of light abundance oracle. I mean the gateway of light oracle that. Yeah, they want me to start with this one. <clears throat> Confirmation, excuse me. Inner earth. Excuse me. Base chakra. Strength and security land foundation. So this is the root chakra. Okay, land foundation, right? <laughs> Having strength. Grounding yourself. A lot of you also, you're in your root chakra, you're insecure, you're dealing with scarcity, you're dealing with, you know, fear. You got to get out of that. Others of you are laying a foundation. You've been showing strength. You've been laying your foundation. You know where you want to go. And it's stern. It's steady because you put in the work. Now you're ready to move forward here. You got strength. You got security in yourself. Hey, 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 hey. And, um... And on the other hand, I'm also getting with this too, getting put to rest. <clears throat> Somebody actually some type of, because I'm seeing these halls here. I'm also getting inner earth alliance. You know, seeing your way to the light by going within the inner earth, within you, grounding yourself. But I'm also getting, you know, burial here too. Six feet deep. Because I'm getting something out the other side here. This could be some ancestral energy coming through. Or some type of transformation. But either way, the 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 the, the, the role is being paid. The, the light is being like... You see here, I don't know if you can see. But here is like some stones and they're lit up. These stones are lit up. But the what's lighting these stones up is the light that's coming through out the other end of this tunnel here within the inner earth because this is the inner earth this is the inner ground this is above and this is the inside this is like the inner earth below and it's a light even within here that light within is strengthening you and it's paving your way for you it's showing you which way to go it's lighting up those stones so you can make sure you're getting guided in the right direction this is your ancestors here guiding you <clears throat> from the other side Beautiful gateway of light activation work today. What is in store for the beautiful diamonds of light collective for April 16th, 2023 for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? Thank you for the truth and clarity. Yeah, source here. Somebody is embodying all encompassing love. It's like you've uprooted, you've let go of the things that no longer serve you. 
you have found strength in yourself. You grounded. You know, you showed a lot of stamina. You're ready to lay your foundations. Things are being laid out for you to start your new foundation. Built on solid ground, solid rock. Like your the, the, the your foundation will not be shaken or moved. Whoever this is is stern. You're not letting nobody move you. Let no not let nobody sway you. Not let nobody shake you. You you chose to love yourself. And you chose to love all that is. And source is here. You embody source. Whoever you are, unconditional love you have for others and yourself. Serenity here. And you chose not to let your lower vibrational, like your lower self, your your past, the things that held you back, keep you. You chose not to let these things hold you back anymore. You started taking credit where credit is due from within. Beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Octorian. Light codes. Evolutionary downloads. Recalling your power. Future to thinking. Make sure you call back your power. Somebody's trying to block you from seeing something, thinking something, trying to block your connection here. All right. Trying to block your connection with source. Somebody don't like that you invited so somebody don't like that you can see the future. Some of you can be like see into the future, like you know, um psychics, prophets, intuitives, you know, empaths, you know who you are, you know what I'm saying? They can just you just know things. All right. You have the gift of all of the knowing. You're connected, right? To the spiritual realm, to source. Whoever you are, you are connected to the source. Whoever this is embodies sources. Somebody's trying to Somebody don't like that. Somebody's trying to block this, but they can't. Whoever been trying to send energy your way or trying to manipulate you or stop you from moving forward or stop you from... um, Somebody's trying to take your life force as well, trying to stop you from thinking or moving into the future. Somebody's trying to think of a way to stop you from moving forward into the future. Somebody's literally trying to think of how to stop the source within you, but they can't. <clears throat> You're too grounded. You're too strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, you 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 are a future thinker. You are you get evolutionary downloads. Somebody embodied the Arcturian light code, so your star family, your star lineage, so you, part of your your DNA coded from within. An essence of that is Arcturian. We got Hathor light codes here. Somebody got some Egyptian Arcturian um DNA ancestral bloodlines, Egyptians, like the, the diamonds of light, right? The divine beings, the source beings, we, we activated with all of that. That's that junk, what they consider that junk DNA, that light, those light codes that's sleeping. And a lot of us have different codes. We're not just, it's not the same. Some of it is a lot of it, but a lot of it is different, what they can't comprehend or understand. All right. But this here is like emerging full system upgrades and power recall. Again, somebody's trying to take your power. Somebody's trying to cipher your power. Somebody's trying to cipher who you are. Somebody's trying to steal your gifts and destiny. Somebody's trying to take your gifts away. Somebody's trying to siphon your gifts, call your power to become theirs, but it's the wrong thing to do. Like, they can't have it. This is you. They're being blocked from this. Okay, let's roll these out. Yeah, somebody don't realize, here we go, you're being blocked for this. Every time they try to do it, it's like, nah, it's theirs. It's the diamonds of light. It's theirs. It's divine beings. Y'all can't have this. They don't like that you embody the holy grail. They're trying to stop you from going within. They're trying to figure out how you go within and tap. They're trying to figure out a way to tap into you because they know you are the holy grail. But they're being blocked. Inner discovery. Finding um, sacredness. You are what you seek. So somebody's trying to seek within you. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to figure out that somebody's trying to dissect your energy. Spirit is saying. They're trying to do like an energetic dissect, like some type of energy surgery. Like they some type of surgeon. This is a spiritual person, somebody playing the arts. They're trying to dissect you energetically. And they're gonna fuck around and find out. Mm-mm. Somebody trying to see what makes you tick tock and make what makes you know what you know. <laughs> How you who you are. They block though. You are the holy grail. They trying to figure it out. But they never will. They never will. Mom, let's get this done. <laughs> oh shoot. Stop playing. <clears throat> 
Here we go. We got this Egyptian. See, I told you, you are swords. The heart of swords came out here again. The violet flame. So divine love. You're a divine being, baby. And it's a divine magic. And you're here for the great awakening to teach the masses. Body. <laughs> it's beautiful, this energy. High heart activation. I love it. Yes, honey. Angelic. You're an earth angel. You're an angelic being. If you keep out here playing with the earth angels, these angelic beings, they're going to, it's the wrong thing to do. Yeah. You could be going through something. All right. You could be dealing with some creative blocks. Um, Somebody could be playing in your love life, your intimacy. All right. Here go that. We can't be friends. It's just love essence too. Somebody's trying to find creative ways to block your love or to woo you or sway you. Somebody's trying to find ways to stop your creativity in some type of way. All right. But you might have been dealing with issues to do with your love life. And, you know, you might, your intimacy or been feeling stuck or something in your creativity. But don't give up. Spirit is saying, don't keep, don't give up. Keep going. Your Venezuelan council is here. It's time for you to shine. Some of you are very creative. And it's time for you to shine, shine through your creative outlets here. You're starting to shine from your creativity, what you're gifted with. And Spirit saying, I know it's hard right now. I know it seems like things are stuck. I know it seems like you, you know, it's like you putting in all this hard work. And it's like, well, what's the deal then? Like when? You keep checking your watch. Don't check it. You keep asking. Don't ask. Just be. Just keep creating. That's what I'm doing. I work. I'm work, I, I fin I just finished sketching. My latest painting. I'm ready to I'm ready to start painting. I'm ready to start painting unless something else comes to me. And I'm so excited about this one because this is this one right here. I got a little bit more detail in the background, you know, trying to do something a little different. So, but I'm excited because I got a download about, you know, I always do these intuitive energy messages, all right? And it's about strength. So it's a lot of feel like this is some lion energy in this in, in this right here. But what they gave me to paint with the lion is 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 something else. I don't know the whole message. I'm getting bits and pieces. That's how I go. I usually get intuitive insight on my messages. And, and as they come through, and a lot of times when I finish my message, I just let it stream through. But, yes, your creativity, right? It's time to shine. It's time to answer the call. It's time for you to step into who you meant to step. step. It's time for your mission to be uncovered, all right? It's time for you to be embraced by this light and you to step into... It's your time to shine. Don't give up. I know it seems hard. It's like, man, you're dealing with a lot of blocks. You're dealing with some stuff, but it's just time for your success. Somebody says it's time. It's time for you to step into who you are. Yeah. You decided to, to, to rear some karmic situations and things in your life. You the violent plant, uh, fame. You went through like a, a radical transformation. So it's time for somebody's a, a teacher of the uh, like uh, thothis here. Divine magic. You, you, who oh, goodness, it's so much. So, whoever you are, you're a divine being of the light. You embody source. You all encompassing love. You have a heart that's unmatched. You got all encompassing love and the high heart activation out here. So, you love like nobody else. Your love is rare, they don't make them like you. Rare than the diamond. They don't make them like you. It's, it's, it's hard to find people who truly love like you do. And nobody can even perceive. They can look at you and not even see this love. They might feel it. And they don't understand it, so they're afraid of it. Those are the ones that got a lot of light. Very creative. Very inventive. Can we stand the pressure? Don't let nothing shake and break in them. A lot of pressure to create the diamond of light. That type of love is rare. And you really do love people despite any and everything. You don't hate nobody. You got a love that's unmatched. It's going to be hard to find somebody that love like you. But it is somebody out there for you that loves 
compatibly with you that meets, that's here to meet your frequency. All right? It's, it's your soul family. It's people out here that have this love. It's not just one person. It's a multitude of people that embody this. All right? <clears throat> the earth angels. But it is time for some type of love here. Like the answer to call. It's you and your union. It's time for you and whoever you are with this divine union. Because with the Venezuelan here, I'm getting like some Venus, right? That love energy. Or maybe we're coming into some Venezuelan energy or something, some planetary alignment, and this is what's going to bring in <clears throat> confirmation verb. Excuse me. When it get into that planetary alignment, as this alignment taking place, as if, if it's not already there, it could be. This is when it's going to come in when you're shining, all right? And this is your mission uncovered and during that time, during during that time. and then, But right now, Spirit is saying don't give up because it might not seem like nothing's going for you right now, but it's about to. You're, you're about to step into success like never before because you got dormant here. And I'm just reading these cards all along because there's so much good energy here. And you you got to, you about to, so it's something that you're about to see clearly. You're about to see your success clearly here. You're about to see what you're about to regenerate here from your success because you're getting a lot of dharma, all right? Some type of, um, because you, you show... All of this love, all of this enduring, you stay grounded, you stay strong, you stay in all encompassing love despite when people try to break you, despite how they still try to break you. You have angelics here, angels here supporting you because you are earth angel, you are angelic being. You had a sephirum, so you hold ancient Egyptians, Arcturian, angels, Venezuela, I mean, Venezuelan, I mean, Sheriffs, the angels, like you very high vibration of source. You all things. Whoever you are, you have a lot of Egyptian um codings in your bloodline too. Because you got the Egyptians. Says Maya, Maya is here and Thoth is here. So they're here walking with you and supporting you. Maya here is here balancing things out so you can receive the success. And receive these abundant downloads from and receive your dharma here. Just trust the process. You could be going on some type of retreat or you're you're being isolated and been within and staying in the home. And this is just something that you had to go through and embody to grow, to heal, to create, to so so into yourself from getting. But you also could be about to go on some type of beautiful retreat that's like high vibrational, that's gonna take you to another level energetically in a beautiful place that maybe you've never been that's going to give you this activation that you need to have another jump start in your life. Maybe you're about to have this type of experience. Maybe you have just had this type of experience and you're about to see and you're seeing things clearly. You're seeing things clearer because of this and then some of you are about to have this type of experience and you're going to see things a whole lot clearer. This retreat is going to Unlock something within you that some blockages I'm getting. It's by design for you to go on this retreat. So spirit is taking you on this retreat so you can go through some type of radical transformation here. For some type of serenity. Some type of light initiation. Yeah, you're going. Some of you already did this. But others of you are about to do this. But whatever you're doing, whatever you know, that know that you're safe in this ma matrix. You get a lot of synchronicities about things and you're safe in this matrix and your angels are here protecting you. It's all right for you to drop your shields, right? To, to step into what you're supposed to be stepping into. It's all right for you to drop your shields to create. It's all right for you to drop your shields to step into this new opportunity. Get outside the box. Isolation has been on a lot of... I've been isolation, isolated for 10 years or better. I remember I was isolated. I've been isolated for a long time. And when I was out of isolation for a few years, I was un unhealed. So I was in a lot of mess. So a lot of us, a lot of you have healed and we're about to come out of isolation, but you're going to move differently. Because now you're attracting and not chasing. It's going to be a whole different route for you. God is a lot of God and incidences. What I, I can't even say that word. 
God is about, source is about to bring in a lot of things for you. Yes. Some of you are about to get your wings. Yeah. You're about to get your wings. And what and because you're about to see from a whole nother uh, uh um perspective. Light codes. A lot of you are about to have a lot of angelic light codes coming into your eyes. Something's about to go on with your eyes. Seeing into the future I'm getting. Seeing things differently. Like you're literally about to see like some of you are about to be able to see angels like angels for the first time. Like actually see them in the energetic like communicate with them. Like see them. Not just feel their presence, not just telepathically talk to them, like literally not see them in meditation, like literally see them with your eyes. Because it's an activation initiation that's going to unlock with you, maybe after this retreat or something. Or maybe just the angels are activating your eyes, I'm getting. Angelic codings. Just know that the angels are here too, watching over you is what I'm getting from this. And your heart is healed and you are divine love. Who are you? Whoever you are, you have all-encompassing love. Unconditional acceptance. And your high heart is here. Your heart is healed. That's why you're getting all this dharma. Because you've been trusting the process. And it's just your time to shine, beautiful diamonds of light. You embody divine magic. They don't make them like you, Spirit. So they don't make them like you. You're rare. That's why you get stuck all your life you've been having so hard. And you still endure these things today, but you don't let that shake you no more. Because you know who you are and who you are. You just embody it. You know, so you just dust it off your shoulder. You just pop your collars. You just hold your head up top high. you like, whatever. Because you know who you are. And it's beautiful. Let's keep going. Let's get this energy out of here. Oh, they're telling me to get the goddess. Nope. Okay. So I'm getting goddess here. But as I pick this up, I'm seeing journey. But I'm going to listen to the spirit. I'm going to pick this up next. So I'm going, some of you going on a journey here. Uh, confirmation. Somebody's about to go on some type of journey, some type of trip, whether it's within, maybe physically. Somebody's about to probably go to three different places I'm getting. You're about to travel to three different places. I'm getting business deals or just vacationing or it's just something you're going to do. I'm getting first class flight. Some of you are about to be get put on first class flights. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Top grade shit. Spirit say you deserve it. Hmm. Somebody want to treat you real nice, show you the life that you're supposed to have, should have have, going to have, need to have. This is source bringing this in. Your answer stars. But it's a lot of crows out here talking. It's a lot of people that don't want to see this, so they're still trying to throw that negative energy at you. They're mad. But they can't stop it. You've mastered yourself. You got Sarah Swati. They all croaking and croaking because they mad. They're like, yeah, we can't seem to stop it. We can't, no matter what we do. They all croaking and croaking over there. Like, I'm seeing all these, uh, they over there fighting. Y'all, I wish y'all could see this. The crows is over there. It's a big ass tree behind here. They over there fighting, y'all. The crows is behind this freaking tree fighting. I'm, yeah, I got to show y'all. Here they go. Here they go. God dang, I got.